Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Yannack. We're looking at the last week of January 2021. As a matter of fact, we're looking at the week of January the 25th to the 31st. That has been a long month, hasn't, been, hasn't it? Always the same. <clears throat> January to me feels like some sort of a tunnel and you can't even see the light at the end of the tunnel when you first enter it. <laughs> That's just January to me. In any case, <clears throat> we are in the star sign of Aquarius. That's going to be the first star sign we will be looking at when we look at the star signs. Because as always, we look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Let's have a look what the overall energy has got for all of us. Okay. Here we go. Overall energy for the week ahead. We have the osprey, the mule deer and the turtle. What the guides are saying to us, all of us, everybody. <laughs> we have made quite a bit of progress in seeing what's really going on everywhere. We have a much better idea where we are. Um, as individuals, as well as as a collective, where we are in the scheme of things, um, which allows us all, uh, on our individual basis actually, um, to plan life a little easier. And that's the first message, um, you know, acknowledge that you have made a lot of progress because we have the deer and every time the guides give me three cards or three animal guides, the one in the middle is the one we pay the most attention to. <clears throat> and it is a deer. And the deer tells you that you need to have enough time to rest and uh, be in nature, look at restful colors. Um, that's the main message for all of us this week is to just stay calm because we have the turtle. Which sort of what comes to mind is sort of, you know, one of those really old sayings, Rome hasn't been built in a day. Uh, they always say, they also say, you know, every road... Uh, or all roads lead to Rome. Down it. <laughs> but what the guys are saying is, forget about Rome. What's this Rome business? Okay, all the guys are saying is, because we have a turtle here as well, we have made progress. We can now assess life much better. Let's relax a little and, um, and do everything and anything a touch slower um, to conserve energy and to make sure we have enough energy again to um, recharge our batteries. Seems to be quite important. We're still in the process here of, of um, yeah, coming back from, from not so great weeks, for want of a better word. Um, yeah, that's the overall energy for the week ahead, last week of January 2021. And now we're looking at the first star sign, which is Aquarius. But I can't let my coffee get cold just because I'm recording. It'd be right. It. So, just another tip. <laughs> Aquarius, first star sign of the week. Let's have a look. Aquarians, you have two um, birds. Every time you have birds, it means step back a little, see things from a higher point of view, right? Don't let anyone upset you. And if you feel like, whoa, hang on a second here, step back. That's the first thing they're saying to you is. And then the other thing is because you have the parrot and the owl is, hmm, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Watch your words. You can express yourself. As a matter of fact, you ought to express yourself, but sometimes, you have to tweak how you say things a little. And sometimes you write in people's face, which is not always appreciated, <laughs> right? So it's interesting because as, as Aquarians, it will take you quite a while before you're riled up enough to go, 
right? Like these two people. But it comes up here. All they're saying is, there. It's, this is the way it feels to me anyway, there's a bit of unfinished business that hits you this week and that you're supposed uh, to look at and therefore it'll come to you. And all they're saying is, look at it and um, if there is anything you have to say, make sure your words are not super harsh. You also have the owl, which means be clever about it. Um, in other words, choose your battles. Not everybody is worth fighting with, if that makes sense. And I'm not getting fights as such. It's more like, you know, some people just don't know when to stop. And it feels like, you know, there's a, there's a, a repetitiveness of topics that, that tend to hit you. And all the guys are saying is, it's time you stopped it and put people in their place, right? But do it kindly, <laughs> okay? If that makes sense. <laughs> that was Aquarius. Now we're going into Pisces, my star sign. Let's have a look what they got, what they got for us Pisceans. We have the Red Fox and the Sparrow Hawk. This is a week for us, last week of January, for all of us Pisceans to reflect um, on, on past events. They're doing this, it means past events. It's not necessarily what happens right this moment or right this minute. It's more like, you know, what have I just dealt with or what still sits there from back in the day that I, that I um, have to deal with and that makes me feel a bit um, boxed in. I'm not quite, I haven't quite released it. All the guys are saying is this is the week to allow yourself to feel what is still there and then simply go with the flow. There's not much more we have to do. It's just acknowledge what's there. If we need to cry it out, let's cry it out. All good. But um, just go with the flow generally. Okay? So, short and sweet for Pisces. You know, being a Piscean myself, I always hope they give us loads. <laughs> Okay, not this week. <laughs> Going into Aries. Let's have a look at Aries. Ah. Aries, you have the mountain goat and the bobcat. The mountain goat is simply saying whatever the week uh, throws at you, you will be just fine because the mountain goat is basically hanging on the cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. It is capable of... of of climbing up very steep mountains so it can overcome stuff that looks to the to the um, <laughs> uninitiated like I will never get up that mountain <laughs> and uh, and the goat is like yeah I can so what they're saying to you is whatever obstacles you see trust that you can overcome them and here's one way of doing it because you have the bobcat number one it's a cat so um, the cat decides when to look at stuff and when not to. But the bobcat um, is looking for a vantage point. So again, if you are presented this week with obstacles, um, have a look at what is this really trying to tell you? What's really going on, right? So don't get um, bucked down by, by things that really aren't all that important and have a closer look at the larger, the bigger picture, the, 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 the heavier obstacles, so to speak, um, and trust that you will get through this because the mountain goat clearly told you, we can do this, right? So, and they're, they're being, they are a bit silly in their movements. We can do this. So I think what that means for, for Aries is to be a bit lighthearted, right? <clears throat> because there's a reason when they show this to me, um, sort of with tongue in cheek and almost cartoonish, right? Um, because everything has a, has a meaning. Um, and that was the meaning for Aries. Going into Taurus, let's have a look at Taurus for the last week of January 2021. Taurians, you have the panther and the dolphin. What they're saying is, this is the week. And I remember we talked about this before and quite a lot. You know, when you sort of, I think in one week, they, the guide said to, to, to Torians that, um, you know, you sort of tend to um, even some lie to yourself. Oh, yeah, I can, I can tweak this and, you know, I can make this work. And then you really try everything to make situations work that otherwise 
are futile. Resistance is futile. Right? So what they're saying to you is you have the panther, which means you, you're an animal with unique dots and stripes, symbolism, um, and you're hiding. Right? So, and then you have the dolphin, an animal that has very few um, facial expressions, so it always looks like it's smiling, you know, um, which is why so many of them ended up in captivity, even though the, the real reason was because of the TV show um, Flipper back in the 60s. The, the gentleman, uh, Rico Berry, who was involved in it, has been campaigning for the last 50 years um, to not have animals, uh, to not have uh, dolphins in captivity. Right? Anyway, this is just goes, goes back into my time um, when I had a, a social, uh, sorry, an animal rights radio show. <clears throat> but we're not talking about this, it's just the dolphin comes up here with these topics. <clears throat> so it is important for Toreans stop hiding and stop not giving so much away. Tell people how you feel. Because we have a panther here as your first animal guide. If a panther would be in the living room, I don't think I would record that video unless he's my friend. <laughs> you understand that what, I'm, what the guides are saying to you is, you know, nobody messes with you, but because you're not saying, you're not speaking your truth, you rather wait for something to happen. God knows what, right? Says the atheist, <laughs> right? It's important for, 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 for Toreans to say, no, I'm looking at my life and I'm going to acknowledge what's going on and I will speak my truth, right? And because the overall energy of the week is not as heavy as previous weeks were, this is a really good week to do that, right? Toreans, give it a push. You can do that. That was Taurus going into Gemini. For Gemini's, the answer um, to any of your questions is move on, just move on, right? You have the ancestor of skill and the ancestor of exile. What the guides are saying is whatever you're procrastinating over, right, is already a sign. If you felt confident, if you felt comfortable in doing certain things, it would be easier. And if you kind of say, I'm not so sure about this, you have your answer. Here's what the guides are saying to Gemini. You have a lot of knowledge, you have a lot of skill, and you tend to limit yourself to whatever skill is needed for one specific task. You're more than that. If you felt, oh, I have to do this now because that's my only source of income, remember what else you can do. Manifest that the skills you came here with, or maybe the skills you worked for, will be needed. Manifest a new beginning instead of following anything that isn't quite yourself, right? And you have the answer of exile, basically meaning move on from things that don't work. And the interesting thing I'm getting from Gemini is that, that this is not new. You will know the things that don't work and it may not just be about work, even though they gave me work earlier. Um, this is also, the message is also for personal matters, you know, relationship of a personal kind. That was Gemini going into Cancer, having another sip of coffee. <laughs> Cancerians, let's have a look. I almost wanted to say, welcome, Cancerians, because it feels like you're, you're sleeping. You're, you're, you're not quite here. You're not quite, oh, let's, let's, let's do something with this life. Um, it feels like you're a bit low energetically. Even if life isn't bad, you're still sort of low-ish. So, hello, Cancerians. Let's have a look <laughs> at what can be done. And I know I don't want to sound rude, but the feeling that I'm getting is you need to wake up. You need to you need yourself to wake up and maybe you need someone that's just like oi get your energy up come on up 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 perfect right because you have the coyote and the arctic wolf so what they what they're saying to you is the universe is saying to you no matter what happens in your life you will always be supported which is the coyote the um, analogy is he's a scavenger which means he will always find food therefore you will always be supported 
And the the wolf by default is um, the animal that 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 is very kind, but knows there is a there is a tribe or uh, that that needs to be or a pack that needs to be led, even if it's a pack of one, right? Um, and so you need to be in charge of your affairs, but you have the Arctic wolf this week, uh, which is basically the wolf that is the most vulnerable of all the wolves, simply because he lives in the Arctic, where there is just not that much food. What the guides are saying to you is, because you have the coyote preceding the wolf in this reading, what they're saying is, when you go into trust, the wolf can finally leave the Arctic and return to a place of power. Please, Cancerians, return to a place of power. What happens, energetically speaking, is that some Cancerians go like, how? <laughs> because you have ideas that need to be manifested in stages. And how you take control here is by first and foremost realizing, if I'm in a place that doesn't make me happy. It is not because I can't afford another place. It's because I'm not manifesting another place. right? And that goes for your personal home and for your work. I always say that to people. When people say, like, oh, I'm, I'm so grateful for my job. Yeah, sure. I'm not knocking it. But what if they said to you tomorrow, sorry, we're broke. There's no more money coming. You would not be under a bridge. You would find ways to stay afloat. And all the guides are saying is, we help you stay afloat, right? You don't have to suffer because of circumstances, right? That was Cancerians going into Leo. Another wolf showing up. Love wolves. I don't know if you can see this. This is my spirit animal guide. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where were we? Yeah, Leo. Don't mind me. <laughs> Leos, you have the timber wolf and the hummingbird. So another wolf here. Again, the wolf is, is the second animal that is mentioned, which means you are supposed to be in charge, but at least you haven't got the arctic wolf. You have the timber wolf. What the guides are saying to you is, don't look at your life and think, oh my God, everything is, is in shambles. Nothing really works. We're living in a world at this point in time where people are asked not to go to bloody work, where people are furloughed, where, where, where companies don't take, people, don't take people on. And if you are on the outside, you're like, oh God, right? Um, what the guides are saying is you have the hummingbird. No matter how crooked the tree is and the tree represents your life, we got this. So what the guides are saying is <laughs> acknowledge and accept things for what they are and don't think it is all your fault right or the world has got it in for you even though i always have said that for for uh, the last 150 years whatever the world doesn't owe you shit right you don't you don't ask the world to owe you know to give you stuff right so yes we we, we have to manifest you know that's we we have to talk to the guides you know, um, you can't just sit there and hope that things are coming. But Leo energy, you're not like this. You're just frustrated very easily at this point in time. And frustration is a really, really bad teacher. What the guides are saying is trust that this is not the end. This is some sort of in-between stage that the world is going through, which means the frustration of the individuals that make up the citizenships of the planet uh, or the citizens of the planet. You can feel it. Once you're, once you're born spiritual, and this is not just for Leo, but once you're born spiritual, right? No matter where you go, the energy of a place or the energy of a situation, you will feel it. It is a, a blessing and a bloody curse, right? <clears throat> so just acknowledge that sensitivity cannot be switched off and you will be fine, right? That was Leo's or Leo going into Virgo on to a different deck here. Virgo is all about hmm, taking things very slow this week, very slowly. You are <clears throat> in need of healing. You have the bear and the heavens. 
which means we are all made of, of stardust, we all come from the stars, and <clears throat> your ancestors in the sky, your soul brothers and sisters, the the um the the the, the origins of, of us is not this planet. And so what the guides are saying is everybody that has looked after you for millennia is still looking after you and is looking out for you. And at this point in time, they're really looking at you saying, rest, you need to rest. Don't think, oh, but this situation requires, no, it doesn't. Everything, the only thing that's required is that you take a step back or two, don't be a grumpy old sod, <laughs> right? And rest. Really, really important because what happens is when they give me the, the bear and then don't talk about anything else, they're really saying that if you don't look at your overall energy and how you truly feel, eventually things will be too much. And you don't want to go down that road where all of a sudden you have some sort of a breakdown because you couldn't stop yourself worrying, right? So please don't just rest. That was Virgo going into Libra. <laughs> Librans, I'm not sure if you like this or not. It's just I had to, I had to smile because you have you have the Canada goose and the ocelot, and while the ocelot, your second animal in, is the animal that says like, okay, well, I have made a, I have made progress. I'm up on the tree, and now I can see what's happening. Right? The Canada goose comes in first, saying, yeah, you know, but. It doesn't matter what you see right now, it's not ready. <laughs> so what the guides are saying is, if you have new ideas and you're like, yeah, I'm going to do this, don't force it. It'll come when it is ready, but it is not ready this week, if that makes sense. <coughs> so take things slowly. That doesn't mean you can't manifest. That also can't, doesn't mean you can't, you know, um, move towards something, but the moment you feel like I'm gonna do this now, right? And and I'm going in there. It's not the energy that is needed for for your growth. So you can take things down a notch, different pace. Um, it'll come, but it's not ready. Okay. That was um, Libra, wasn't it? Yeah, we had Leo, then we had Virgo, now we're now we in Libra. Whatever I said, we're in Libra, okay? Libra, Libra, Libra. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whatever I said in the beginning, I'm in Libra. And that's another reason why I always put the star sign names up, because I'm all over the place. Um, I, I, I actually truly believe that because when I record this here and the guides are here, it makes me even more um, uh, alive and I'm all over the place. Anyway, that makes sense, right? And um, you know, I'm I'm turning fifty four this year, and I still have this yay well, why why settle <laughs> feeling. So um, yeah, so sometimes that doesn't that doesn't help if that makes sense. That was Libra going into Scorpio. Card fell down. Wants to be read. Let's have a look. What we have. Okay. Four Scorpios. You have the rabbit and the jaguar. And what the guides are saying to you is new opportunities <clears throat> will come to you. There's also a lot of, um, huh, wrong word, power. And it almost feels like you, you need to be some sort of a hero and saying like, I'm going down a route or a road that I've never even traveled on. So I'm feeling for uh, Scorpio is that if there's brand new things coming your way, take the opportunity, do it, because your, your, your next animal guide is the Jaguar, which is all about wholeness. It's like saying, it's like, you know, I've been looking for stuff. I don't feel like I belong anywhere, right? You belong with yourself. And 
what the new opportunity will, 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 will allow you is to be a bit more, yeah, I did this. I did good, right? So that, that's sort of the feeling I'm getting for, for Scorpio. Now we have Sagittarius and Capricorn left. Going into Sagittarius right now, let's have a look what we got. That's another star sign that is asked to, um, to take things slower. We had the deer in another star sign, don't ask me which. <laughs> um, and here you have another deer coming in. What, what, what the, the deer is about, apart from resting, is also that your instincts will have told you right now what is and what isn't working in your life. And um, chasing stuff is not your forte. This is all symbolism, right? So the deer, as beautiful as they are, they're prey animals. They are being preyed upon, which means this is not an animal that runs after animals, other animals to feed himself, herself, and their family. In other words, um, you have, you need a lot of time to regenerate. You need a lot of time to um, allow yourself to recharge your battery. So don't chase anything because it will tire you out. <coughs> and you have the raven, which means while you're resting almost, I don't, I'm not getting the same rest thing that they ask of another star sign. See, the reason why I can't remember anything is how this works is, I work for spirit, right? And I record this, and at the end of the recording, or as you can see after whatever I just recorded, it's not my, it's, it doesn't help me to keep that information because that's why we're recording this, for posterity, right? Look at it yourself, right? I even have to re-watch what I just recorded to figure out what my star sign, Pisces, um, has been uh, has been or, or is guided towards. This is just how this works, right? So, but I remember we had the deer in another star sign, and so it is not the same message. But the deer is always about take things easy, if that makes sense. And then you have the raven, which is the animal of uh, magic and and creation. What they're saying is while you're resting a little this week, while you take things easy and slowly, um, create. Think about things that make you happy. Think about what you want to do. Think about where you want to go and um, and manifest that. Because when you have a, a higher energy because you're not quite as stressed out, then your manifestations will go, or your meditations will go much, much further. Okie dokie, last star sign of the week is Capricorn. And then we're done. <laughs> Capricorn, you have the ram and the birds. And the ram is all about, what's the word? Growth. It's all about saying that, like, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm still growing. I'm still um, in the process of becoming a better version of myself. And the birds are all about stepping back, liberate yourself, fly, right? Let's fly away, let's fly, let's fly away. So what the guides are saying to you is, while you're growing, you're growing to experience better things, you know, a, a new things, higher things. And all they're saying to you this week, make it a week of growth, where um, you, you realize that in order for you to grow, growing and growth can be painful, even though I don't feel that necessarily for Capricorn. But what they're saying is, allow yourself to grow. You don't have to be 100% at the best, the best you can be, because you're not the best you can be, because you're still growing, right? So allow yourself to grow and um, allow in your life for some trial and error too. Okie dokie. That's all we got time for. Thank you so much. As always, please share this widely um, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel and to the Facebook page because that's how you keep up to date with everything. Okie dokie. See you very soon. Bye-bye.